From Hollywood, Bob Newhart and Dick Dawson meet John Erickson and Gavin McLeod on Celebrity Bowling. I'm Chet Allen. Welcome again to Celebrity Bowling, the game in which Hollywood's biggest stars do what a lot of people do every day. Have a good time bowling. We got some biggies for you today. On lane number one, the comedy team of Newhart and Dawson. And they will meet... That's Bob with Newhart and Richard Dawson. They will meet in fierce competition, marvelous actor John Erickson and his partner from the Mary Tyler Moore Show, the star, Gavin McLeod. And our celebrity bowlers will be bowling on a best ball system, hoping to win not only for themselves, but for some wonderful people in our audience who have a chance to win some fantastic prizes. We'll find out what those prizes are, who our studio audience participants are, when we come back right after these words. Several lucky members of our studio audience have been selected purely at random to share in the winning celebrity team's good fortune. Who they are, let's find out. Dick, who are you and Bob playing for? We're going to play for Thomas Haley of Rancho Palos Verdes. Uh, that's good luck to Thomas. Gavin, who are you and John playing for? Gloria Ramirez of Canoga Park. Uh -huh. Good luck to both of them. Just what they will win will depend on how well you guys do. We'll find out what those prizes are a little bit later on in the show. I might mention, too, there'll be a bonus prize for a team that scores the most strikes. There, of course, will be a very special prize for any team that gets a turkey. That's three strikes in a row. We'll be playing on the uh, regulation 10-frame system with one little difference, and that's best ball. And I'll tell you about that as Dick Dawson gets up to lane number one. Bob Newhart gets ready lane number two. I'll take the cards. Gavin and John, you can relax a few minutes. And you can start right off, Dick. Now, best ball means that a team counts only the best first ball rolled by the teammates. If, if on the first ball either player rolls a strike, that's it. The other player does not have the ball. That's the best a team can do in any frame. But if neither team rolls a strike, one teammate shoots for the easiest spare left. So let's watch the action. You find how it goes. Okay, Bob, something happened over there. Uh, three down. There were three standards. So go ahead, Bob. We'll see how it works out, and we'll decide what to do. Okay, Richard Dawson will pick up lane number two. That's the 10 pin. Saved us a little bit of a problem. And from the bottom of my heart, I thank you. Oh! oh. No. By the hair of his chinny chin. Okay, Gavin McLeod in lane number one. John Erickson getting ready in lane number two. Action, though, get a little clothesline there. The one, what, three, five, one, three, five, six. Thank you. One, three, six. John Erickson, good actor. Never met John before today. Nice fellow to be around. All right, John. John, you'll come over in lane number one. You'll pick up Gavin's clothesline right over there. It's a one, three, six. Uh, take your best shot. That's a. The odds in this one are about what? 75%? For average bowler? Yeah. The gentleman I was just talking to, his name Don Russell, is our resident pro helping me out today at Celebrity Bowling. He looks like he's got it. He does. Nice ball by John Erickson. Got the first mark of the game. Bob Newhart's on lane number one, and Dick Dawson's lane number two. Scores nine to spare. How are you? How are you doing, Dick? It didn't hurt too much, did it, Gavin? <laughs> Oh, good ball. Coming in. Now on the head. Now, how did you know that, Russell? Good strike by Bob Newhart. Gavin and John. John, you're on lane number one this time. And Gavin, you're ready to go for lane number two. And uh, that thing evens things up. It puts him a little bit ahead. Richard Dawson, Bob Newhart. Two of the nicest people you'll ever meet in this business. Dick is a good actor, not only a game show host, and Bob, of course, is the star of the Bob Newhart show. And that's going to come back a little. Got some action. 
If you notice, John Eric just stepped over the foul line slightly. We you kind of fudge a little about that, so don't don't send any letters into us, okay? <laughs> we try to be as cool as we can about the rules. Um, I don't know. I want to toss a coin, Gab. Why don't you come over lane number one? That's it. This is my game. Good shot. See, I knew, I knew who could do it. <laughs> Gavin McLeod, nice spare. They got a 17 and a spare on two. Nine and a strike on two for Bob and Richard. Bob is working on lane number one. Dick Dawson on lane number one. Oh, that's a nice one. Right down the middle. Ooh. Almost had a... Uh, Split, right? Mm. That's a Jersey side, maybe get, get some action. Oh. I tell you something, I think I think you come over, Dick. Well, dead center, it's a lot of, what do you think? I think second, lane number two. Dick? No, I you you move it up fine. That's good. I'm not going to accept that rule. Okay, go ahead. I've watched Roy Rogers bowl more spares than they can decide among themselves, folks. I'm not the one to do it. I only do that once in a while to push it along. And he was right. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> Very good. Got a lot of marks this game. Okay, Gavin McLeod on one. You knew your limitations, huh, Dick? <laughs> yes, I've never been shy about that. <laughs> Dredge for everyone. <laughs> Healy boy will pay. Be good be. Uh, generally, ladies and gentlemen, I will call the shots only to expedite matters with the keep the game moving. But anytime the bowlers want to shoot for what they want to shoot for, they're welcome to. As long as they move over to the opposite lane, they were working on. Well, uh, I tell you, they're working on a spare. What do you what do you suggest, <laughs> Gavin? Take the marks. No, the other side. Ja John, you take lane number one. <laughs> Gavin, you better relax. Then you need the points right here because you're working on the spare. It'll be kind of difficult. So, if you own it out, outside of that uh, five pin, you might be able to make it, John. Hmm, pulled it in a little bit. That left one with eight, maybe 43. 43 and three. So, Richard Dawson and Bob Newhart are working on a spare. 29 with a spare in the third. Gavin McLeod, John Erickson at 43 and three. Bob Newhart. What's the score? Oh, <laughs> what's the name of that game anyway? Curling. Curling, that's it. I did it once. Oh. Oh, boy. It's just cut in a little bit too late. That's right. That's in a... To Bob Newhart in lane number two. Got nine pins and a spare. Got a 48. 48 and 3, it's a good game. Very close game. 43 for Gavin and John. Good game. Five point spread. And that looks like it's in there. That's it. That's fair and a four. Gavin and John. John, you're on lane number two. One. Gavin, you're on lane number two. Yes, Right. And John will go first. You got an open frame, anything can happen. Interesting. John is evidently a new bowler. They all have a habit of letting it, you know, not turning it in. I don't know what you call that, Don. It's a reverse hook. This, you didn't get it over far enough. What would you suggest? Work on lane number one. Gavin McLeod on lane number one. Our pro, Don Russell, says it's a little bit easier than that clothesline, so it's all yours, champ. Going to the breach, Devin. You did it again. It, hey. Ah. hey, you're good in the clutch. Oh, oh McLeod, you're tough. You're tough in the clutch. We get, we got a, it's a five-point spread. You're both working on spares. Richard Dawson. 
Fifth frame. Midway point in our game. And a slipper wow. over. I think that's it. Fell over. Thank you, Richard. Yeah. Happened being well before. We call slip just like we did when we were kids. Too hard. Yeah, coming in. Ah. Working on a spare. What are we doing this? All right, Dick Dawson, come over and take lane number two. We need the pin, so let's go that way. How would he go for this? To the outside of the one? Strike pocket, Dick. No. All right. <laughs> okay, Gavin and John. Gavin, you're up on uh, on one. John, you're on two. You guys can relax for a while. You got a 69 and five. Dick Dawson and Bob Newhart, 69 and five. 69 five. Working on the spare, Gavin McLeod and John Erickson. Best ball system. Still best ball, John. What happened to kick a little dirt, Gav? Shoot. Oh. Right, have, let's let's have we need a pin. So John, John, come over lane number one, please. Right now you need count, guys. It's pretty close, so. Huh? Well, we're deciding on the count, where you are in the game, and the score. If you guys want to decide among you to go for something else, that's okay too. You see. At the halfway point, celebrity bowling. Richard Dawson and Bob Newhart have a 69 and 5. Gavin McLeod, John Harris have a 57. It's a pretty good game. We'll be right back with the second part of celebrity bowling right after the break. Some contestants receive a supply of cremettes. Quick cooking macaroni never sticks together. Made from special durum wheat, formula enriched. Cremettes are high in appetite appeal. Plus, Baraxo cream or powdered hand cleaners. They take on the dirtiest jobs. They'll come out Saturday night clean with Baraxo. And Rath Hams from the great Midwest. Iowa sends her best. Natural country goodness. Special occasion quality and flavor from Rath. And rice a the big flavor side dish that's so quick, so easy. The one you saute and simmer to flavor perfection. rice a the San Francisco treat. Some guests on Celebrity Bowling receive the Amana Touchmatic Radar Range. First, microwave oven with a memory. You can program it to cook, simmer, or defrost. It's as simple as one, two, three. The Touchmatic Radar Range, made only by Amana. We're at the halfway point in Celebrity Bowling. The team of Richard Dawson and Bob Newell have a 63, uh, 69, I beg your pardon, in five. The team of Gavin McLeod and John Erickson have a 57 in five. Let's find out what Thomas Healy, Gloria Ramirez can win if their celebrity team does the right thing for them. If the winning score is 120 or less, Hamilton Beach's versatile homemaker collection, Baconer, Toaster, No Scorch Iron, Blender, and featuring the Croc Watcher with carefree automatic high-low shift from Hamilton Beach. But if the winning score is 120 or better, from King Coil, Posture Bond Sleep Sets with bonded construction designed to provide firm body support with comfort, King Coil Posture Bond. And if the winning score is 150 or better, the new Lazy Boy Wall Recliner can be placed one inch from the wall. You can recline to any position with a footrest up or down. It's Lazy Boy. And if the winning score is 180 or more, a Gibson food freezer with generous 21 cubic foot capacity, adjustable fast freezing shelves, slide out basket, and Gibson's adjustable cold control. But if the winning score is 210 or better, one fabulous week for two at the magnificent New Orleans Marriott. Regal living within 42 towering stories overlooking the historic French Quarter with its jazz, outstanding food and four restaurants with southern hospitality. Oh, New Orleans at Mardi Gras for two at the Marriott. The team with the most strikes takes home a bonus supply of decor bricks, the perfect brick replica for the do-it-yourselfer. Unbelievably simple to install. Look as good as real bricks, but go up a lot easier. And if either team scores a turkey three strikes in a row, they'll win a special bonus of Electrophonics full dimensional sound system with 8 track tape player, AM, FM radio, and record changer from Electrophonic, stereo manufacturer. 
in, in order that we might bring you the full 10 frame game of our celebrity bowling uh, tournament here, the uh, celebrities have bowled the sixth and seventh frame off camera. Richard Dawson and Bob Newhart each had a strike, so they're working on a turkey. Gavin had one strike. John didn't quite get that, so they ended up with the seventh frame with an 85. Bob Newhart shooting in the eighth frame. Turkey, turkey, turkey. Come on. Not quite. Still got a chance at it. Best ball. This is where the stereo set. Come on. Come on. Not quite. So, Dick Dawson will come over to lane number one. And you will take lane number one, which is the 245. They got one, they're working on that strike, that double, so they had 122 and 8 is what their score is. 122 and 8. 85 for John and Gavin. Got an open frame. Uh, John is, is working on lane number one. Slipping it off too soon. You just got to move it on a little bit. That's good. That's coming in nice. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's my buddy. Very nice. That'll pick up a lot for you. That could uh, bring it right up there again. <laughs> no, Ramirez. Ramirez. <laughs> you backed up a little bit. Bob Newhart. Open frame. Could be interesting. Ooh, right around the 10. Right around the 10. Dick, you'll take that one. There's still quite a bit ahead. They get into the market and keep it open. They're in good shape. Uh -uh, dropped it off. 131 on the ninth frame for Richard Dawson and Bob Newhart. Gavin McLeod on lane number one. John Erickson lane number two. Hello. You need a mark right here, guys. It's important for you. <laughs> John, if I may make one suggestion that was given to me, try to get that ball as far out as you can. You're dropping it by that line, which is not helping. Oh, all right. So get it out as far as you can. Thank you. From the pro, Don Russell. Come on over the side. Pick up lane number one. <laughs> Not the whole thing. <laughs> That's a strike pin or what? Outside. Okay. Strike throw. Oh, that's interesting. One for John Erickson, guys. Yes. Nice shot. Nice shot. Bob, Bob Newhart, tenth and final frame. For you, huh? You're in good shape so far. If you stay, get a mark. You're pretty much got it locked up. But you're gonna have to get a mark. Oh. You got two more. You got one, two, three strikes. Bob. Lane number two, Bob. You got two more. Lane number two or one, either one doesn't matter. You'll get two more for you, John. Stay the same. Just like that. They can get one. They need one strikes too. Nice ball. Mm. <laughs> you got one more, Bob. Got a 161 possibility. 161. They've also got strikes locked up, which means West Clark's assortment and the Lazy Boar Recliner. 158 for Dick Dawson and Bob Newhart, Gavin McLeod, John Erickson.
John, you're on lane number one. Gavin, you're on lane number two. Hey, John, let's just take this people away from you. The way to do that is to throw the ball of the scorekeeper. Yes. Yeah, but he's won't. Oh. All right. Gavin McLeod, lane number two. Working on the spare. Ooh -wee. So come on over lane number one, Gav. You can still go with a 143. Am I right? Yes. Possible 143. Go ahead. Game's in a bag for Richard Dawson and Bob Newhart. So let while Gavin McLeod finishes off his final frame with John Erickson. We'll be right back with our stars and our prizes right after these words. Go finish it up, Gav. First score, 158. Thomas Healy's got the regular recliner. And thank you, Bob Newhart, for being a regular guy. <laughs> oh, well, of course that. That's a joke. Dick Dawson, thank you. John Erickson, Gav McLeod. See you next time on Celebrity Bowling. <laughs> Some guests on Celebrity Bowling receive American tourists to his and hers very light sets of luggage. Strong, beautiful, soft, casual, flexible, very light luggage from American tourists. And a supply of party time cocktail mixes. Eight exotic flavors made with freeze-dried natural fruit juices. For a great drink every time, it's party time. An assortment of Thompson Natural Vitamins. For over 40 years, offering special formulas for your good health. Available to health food stores everywhere. 20 Mule Power Bathroom Cleaner. Industrial strength. Use it once a week. Wipes out soap scum. Hard water scale. Mold and mildew while it disinfects. Weight Watchers Soft Drinks. The smart drinks which add a lot of flavor to your life. Available in nine sparkling delicious flavors. Furnished by Weight Watchers. And Rolaids for acid indigestion and gas. Million spell relief. R-O-L-A-I-D-S. Follow label instructions.